Hey guys, Drew here from Lone Fox. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because this is going to be my first video in the kind of like Christmassy holiday decor series. I know not everybody celebrates Christmas, so this is going to be sort of just like holiday inspired decor, like winter decor, I guess you could say. And I'm gonna have so many videos coming soon for you guys. I wanna do DIY ornaments, like a decorate my house for the holidays, um, DIY gifts, like anything along the lines of that. I'm really excited to do that. So if you wanna see any of those videos or if you have any idea of your own please leave it in the comment section below because I would love to create it for you guys this video I'm actually gonna be doing a giveaway for you guys I'm so excited about this I'm giving away three $100 Amazon gift cards to anybody in the world completely open international but I will give you guys all the details at the end of the video in the outro section um, just so you guys can watch the DIYs and then enter the giveaway at the end and this honestly is just because I really want to kick off the holiday season with of course like a little giveaway for you guys but also I want to thank you so so much for getting me to 100,000 subscribers I I think we're at 105,000 right now, which is absolutely insane. And I just want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. And I love you so much. But in this video, I have four insane holiday DIYs. They look incredible. Like they look like you buy them at a store. Like, I don't know. I just love the way that they turned out. I think you're going to really enjoy them. And let's just hop on in today's video. For this first project here that is super easy but super super cute, all you're going to need is a pillow, a blank pillow, pencil, Fabri-Tac adhesive, and some gold sequins trim, and I found this at Joann's Fabrics, and then I also pulled up this reference photo from Pinterest. I love the way that um, this loopy sort of cursive Mary was spelled out, so I sort of used my pencil to trace a similar style of the word Mary, and I also wanted to let you guys know that I found this pillow in the dollar section at Target, so right at the front by the door. They have a lot of different Christmas pillows right now. They're only $3 each, so that's what I used this white one with the red trim on it thought it was super perfect for this project actually and then once I have that word Mary mapped out you can sort of see what I have going on here with the pencil mark that's very faint on there I used my Fabri-Tac adhesive and I went all the way around the letters and I did it in small sections so that way I can glue down the sequins ribbon all the way around and the sequins is just so pretty and the Fabri-Tac adhesive is nice because it adheres anything to fabric which of course is the pillow so that's why I did that and I went all the way around the pillow with the glue in small sections and just adhered it down the sequins ribbon. There's no place on earth I'd rather be than right here waiting with you. This glue also does take a little while to dry, maybe about a couple of hours, so you have a little bit of like free time to play around with the shape and just like move it, maneuver it around if you want to. And then I cut off the ending, that's the end of my word Mary, and it turned out perfectly. And then I thought I would pick off a couple of the sequins and sort of place them around just to add a little more extra shine to the project, but I ended up not liking it. I just took them off in the end and just left it sort of plain and more minimalistic, which is what I totally loved. And I am so obsessed with this, it's on my bed currently, and that's a pillow. I'll always get caught up in your smile It brings me straight back to life This advent calendar is super quirky, but also super useful. And I used 12 toilet paper rolls, some black paint, a hot glue gun, some coordinating tissue paper, and a pair of scissors as well. So what I started off by doing was finding the middle point of each toilet paper roll, which was the two inch mark. And I cut down the center of the toilet paper roll with a pair of scissors. And that is because we're just gonna get 24 of these uh, half toilet paper rolls, which is gonna, of course, be our 24 day countdown to Christmas. And I cut down all of them, just fluff them up when you're completely done. Next, you're just going to add a very thin bead of hot glue around the rim of the toilet paper roll and place it down on top of your tissue paper like so and just let it dry for a couple of minutes. You're going to repeat this on all 24 of the toilet paper rolls. And I do want to mention that this project seems a lot more like time inducing than it actually is. This only took me like 45 minutes to create and it was just like very therapeutic and easy. It's not a hard project at all. So don't think it's very daunting if you do think so because it's pretty simple and easy, honestly. So then I just went in and roughly cut around the tissue paper edges with a pair of scissors. That just makes it a lot easier when we go to the actual cutting portion here. And all I'm doing is just butting my scissors up to the edge of the toilet paper roll and just cutting off all that excess tissue paper on all 24 rolls. And I can 
And now it is time to create the house shape. So the house shape is actually four of these rolls wide and six tall, which equals 24. And I did find this idea on Pinterest, actually. I saw someone else create it. There was no tutorial on how to make it, but I saw someone like create it as a finished project. And I really wanted to create a tutorial on how to do so. So I'll link the original one below so I can give credit to the owner because this project was really cute and fun. And so all I did was just glue all of these toilet paper rolls together in a row, again, four by six. And that finishes off the base of the house. I see you and all the little things that you just love to do. Next, what I did was cut two pieces of scrap cardboard to just a two inch wide by seven inch long strip just to create the top panel of the house. And I used a little bit of hot glue just to secure it to the little um, cylinder panel that we already created. And then I wanted to cut out a small little section to go on the inside as well. So I just traced that on the another piece of scrap cardboard and then cut that out. And then we're gonna glue that on the interior just to sort of finish off the frame of the house. And before we add the candy, which is the fun part or whatever you want to add in there, I used a thin paintbrush and just a little bit of black paint to very carefully sort of write on the numbers. So I did one, two, three, four in a row and just went down accordingly all the way till you hit 24. With you. Swimming best in the sea that we only found in our you got a little wonky there but I think that it ended up perfectly fine I don't think it's like a huge eyesore and then I used a little bit of Ferrero Rocher and these little Ghirardelli peppermint barks which are my favorite and I filled up this advent calendar but you can really put whatever you want in here like you can put little trinkets um random things I don't know whatever you want to put in there you can put in there but I just put candy in there because it just seemed the easiest at the time and then I cut a small panel of cardboard just to place on the back side of this to finish it off and you're just going to hot glue this panel down uh just trim any edges if you need to but this is basically going to finish off the project all I did to finish off it completely was add a little bit of yarn to the top as a hanger but you can also just lean this up against a wall or whatever you want to do with it a little scrap piece of yarn that I hot glued to the very edge here on the top and you could hang it up and that is your finished advent calendar you just got to poke your finger through and grab your treat for the day I personally thought this next idea was just really, really cute, and I used some styrofoam balls in assorted sizes, this Snowtex white paint I found, and then some glitter and a paintbrush as well. So this Snowtex white paint is literally just like very, very chunky white paint that sort of resembles snow when it dries down, which I totally love. And also these jars of it is only $1.99 each, which I thought was a pretty great deal. You get a good amount. I only used one for the whole project. And what I did was use this brush here, and I just bristled on the white Snowtex around the entire little... A styrofoam ball here and after I went ahead and did that and just kind of like brushed it on you have to get it into all the little cracks and crevices of the styrofoam which is kind of annoying but honestly it takes like a couple minutes per styrofoam ball and then you move on to the next one and on some of the styrofoam balls I actually went in and added a little bit of glitter I only did it on some glitter is from Target in the kids section actually I love the way it kind of has an iridescent shimmer to it and that's really all after I brushed all of them you can sort of just let them dry and I also created the cutest little sign for them which I'll show you how to make in a second here Standing on the roof of my fan, you're painting everything around you. For the sign, I used a bit of white cardstock, black paint, white paint, and a paintbrush. So I just squirted on a little bit of black paint, and I really wanted sort of like a chalkboard effect, which is why I didn't use black cardstock to start off with. And then I used some white paint just to spell out the word snowballs, and it says snowballs $1. I just, um, like, I don't know, hand wrote that out just eyeballing it I guess you can say uh, and that finishes off your little sign you can cut it out and then you can just shove it in there with like a toothpick or a little popsicle stick which is exactly what I did
the little things that you just This last project is the perfect winter accessory, and what I used for this was some glass bases, Mod Podge glitter, some printer paper, paintbrush, and some scissors. So what we're creating here is just some paper snowflakes, and I'll show you exactly what to do. So you're going to fold down the corner of your printer paper to create a perfect square here, and you're just going to fold it down to where it stops on the edge, cut off the excess, and you have a perfect square. And then what I did was just fold that square in half, and then in half again. So I got a sort of like reference line to create four smaller squares. Squares. Um, and then what I did after that was just fold the triangle down the center, as you can see here. And then I decided that I, the background was not working with me, so you guys couldn't see what I was doing. But you're just going to fold the edges as shown here, um, just up and over, so you kind of create this weird kind of like fox looking shape, I guess you could say. And then I use my pencil to just trace on random snowflake shapes. So this is where you can get each of your snowflake ends and that's what you're going to do. Just trace them on using a pencil, use a pair of scissors and cut them out. And once you have the full shape cut out, you're going to unfold it all and it's going to create a cute snowflake. It's so easy and so fun. And not to mention this project is also super universal because you can really create so many different things with the snowflakes. You don't only have to stick them on uh, a candle holder. You can really put them on anything you want. Once all of your snowflakes are cut out, I use this hard coat Mod Podge, which really hardens up the paper a lot. And I just did three coats of it on each of the snowflakes. So I just used a watercolor brush and painted on that Mod Podge all over all the snowflakes, both front and back. That way it gives it like a nice hard encased coating. Again, I sprinkled a little bit of glitter on each of them just to give them an iridescent shine and just really patted it onto the Mod Podge base just so that it got a nice shiny look. It looks much more shiny in person than it is picking up on the camera, I swear. And then I also wanted to add a little bit of accent to the little glass jars. So I used some Mod Podge and painted it on the edge of those glass jars. And then I sprinkled on the glitter as well. And the Mod Podge dries completely clear. So you're not gonna have any of that white showing through. Um, It's just gonna dry down and the glitter is just going to be stuck on there, which is pretty cool and nice. Uh, it's gonna look like floating little missile like winter time effect. I don't even know what I said there. Please disregard it. Um, and then once you have all of those on there, you're just going to glue down your snowflakes. I used a little bit of hot glue on the edges of the snowflakes and just glued them right on to the vase. You can really put them anywhere you want to and just drop in some pillar candles and that is your finished little snowflake embellished vase. So guys, that was today's holiday DIY video, and I hope that you really enjoyed it. Again, this is just part one of two, because in the second video, I'm actually going to be revealing the giveaway winners, and yes, giveaway winners. I'm having a giveaway, I mentioned at the beginning of the video, so let's just jump on into the details right now on how to enter the giveaway. So the giveaway is open 100% internationally, so if you are anywhere in the world, you can enter this giveaway. All I need to know is that you have an email address, because that's how you're going to obtain the gift card. And also, this giveaway is going to be three different prizes, so three winners. Um, each winner is going to receive a $100 Amazon gift card and the reason I chose Amazon is because they ship internationally They have tons of craft supplies tons of DIY supplies or you can just shop for gifts on there Holiday decor whatever you want to do I thought Amazon was a nice place just to give you guys a gift card to um, just because it is super broad and open to everybody in the world So how you enter this giveaway is the first thing you have to be subscribed to my channel So subscribe below it's somewhere down there subscribe to my channel first off and then also give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment So that's gonna be your first entry so just leave Leaving a comment and being subscribed to my channel and giving the video a thumbs up is going to be your first way to enter. And you can comment whatever you want, like let me know which DIY you like the best, what 
video ideas you have for me, anything below in the comment section is going to be perfect for that entry. But I did want to give you a second way to enter, and the second way to enter is to follow the Lone Fox Instagram account. It is on the screen right over here. It's Lone Fox Home, and I post stuff over here that's very home decor, just inspirational. If you want to follow the Lone Fox Home Instagram account, that's going to be the second way to enter. And the way you get this second entry here is to leave an additional comment below. So make sure to comment for your first entry and then leave a second comment that's completely separate from the first one. And this is going to be letting me know that you followed me on Instagram and just leave your Instagram handle in that comment so I can check that out if you do win that way. Super, super fast recap. The first way to enter is just to subscribe to my channel, thumbs up the video, leave a comment. And the second way to enter is to follow Lone Fox Home on Instagram and leave a second comment letting me know that you did so. So that is everything, you guys. Uh, I'm so excited and I hope you guys really enjoy this video. And the second part is going to be more holiday decor because I have so many more ideas that I want to share with you guys. So this is just going to be a part one. And um, yeah, if you have any more ideas, leave them in the comment section. I love you all so much. Happy holidays and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.